Welcome to the May 16th, 2022 Advance Report from McGowan Group clients and NetworthRadio.com listeners. I'm Spencer McGowan, your financial weatherman with your weekly fast-paced tour of the global financial markets. I'm President, McGowan Group Asset Management. The video series, YouTube McGowan Group, be sure to subscribe, is built to help our clients make great decisions in the year ahead. As an investor, I want you to see what real portfolio managers at McGowan Group Asset Management, the team of nine, what we're seeing on a weekly basis that brings you the best insights in the market. The title of this week's program at NetWorthRadio.com and the NetWorth Radio Apple Podcast, the title of our program is Speculation Squashed. And the two areas, tech investing, very popular last November, absolutely squashed. That bubble popped. The crypto bubble is popping as we speak, and we're going to cover some of the impact. $1.8 $1.8 trillion in value has disappeared in cryptocurrencies. There's 19,000 different cryptocurrencies, by the way, now worth $1.2 trillion. It was $3 trillion. That is almost $2 trillion wiped out. U.S. equity, primarily driven by the tech correction, went from $49 trillion in value down to below $38 trillion at the lows this week. And that, of course, is $11 trillion in equity value gone, primarily technology and companies that are losing money. So I'm going to show you some of the things that we warned you about last year with an update. Coinbase is a cryptocurrency exchange. They reported 2.2 million people have quit trading cryptocurrency. It's no fun anymore. This stock has gone from 369 down to $41. And the question is, can they make money in this environment? Well, the crypto assets, now you have things like pancake swap, avalanche. Imagine telling your wife, oh honey, I'm doing crypto, I'm getting some Bitcoin, some pancake swap, and some avalanche. We're down a little bit right now. She's gonna say, what the heck did you do with our savings? That's not going to work anymore, and it's not fun anymore for the investors in crypto after this week's absolute implosion. The stable dollar cryptos, well, two of them broke the buck, and that means they don't work anymore, and that whole market freefall could last a while. I've got a prediction on the technology, two potential dates that I'm going to get to on the technology bottom. Dow Jones Industrial Average, year to date, right now down about 13 percent. S&P 500 down about 16 or 17 percent. At the lows this week it fulfilled the official definition of a bear market cycle which is a 20 percent drop in the S&P. Now not counting the pandemic the time before that was actually the decline of 2018. That was a Federal Reserve tightening cycle. When the tide goes out Well, you find out who was bathing naked, according to Warren Buffett, and we're going to look at where that is. Right now, we've got the NASDAQ 100. These are generally the largest tech companies, down 27% year to date at the lows this week, down about 30% just so far in 2022. The energy sector is a 40% total return so far this year. Pipeline index is about a 25% gain and things like the exploration companies have powered ahead with record earnings and they're raising the dividends, both the pipelines and the explorations, raising the cash flow, not just an inflation hedge, but so far an excellent inflation hedge even though it was out of favor during the pandemic. But the energy infrastructure, that's one clue. The other clue being medical dividends up year to date if you chose the right ones with low multiples, uh, an inexpensively priced good growth blue chip in the medical dividends. That's the other sector that's working so far this year. Palantir, the darling of software, cloud-based software, lots of government contracts. They're well connected in the government and they hit $29. This week they hit six. 
77% decline for that tech darling that's not making money yet. You see the pattern. Peloton, not making money, $130 down to 11. Do we want companies that don't make money? No, especially in this environment. 90% decline in Peloton. People aren't staying home and riding their little bikes anymore. Okay, Rivian, electric vehicle maker. Before they ever made a vehicle, $179. Now, $19. They just started delivering vehicles. Well, discretionary consumer spending is under huge pressure. If your gasoline bill went up 500 and your light bill went up 500 and your food bill went up 500, that's 1500 bucks swung the wrong way for a lot of the average households here. This is down 86%. People aren't going to go buy a fancy new electric vehicle if, the, if their company stock just went down 30%. And a lot of that money was coming from tech gains. Now, this is interest rates year to date. You can see that the T-bill has gone way up now 0.9%. And you can get a two-year treasury for about 2.5% now which is not that's better than the money market right now. And that says, okay, that's a safe location and you can put it into an account without a fee and uh, just on a two year treasury, if you hold it the full term, you're guaranteed. If you sell it early, you might have a penalty, you might have a small gain if the stocks are down. Okay, here, what we've got is the 30 year and the 10 year US treasury bond. What happened this week? The selling was so relentless in stocks, institutional panic buying in treasuries actually pushed the yields back down a little bit, 3.2 to 2.85 on the 10-year treasury. The Fed may have to rethink how fast it pulls back all the excess liquidity, just like they did in 2018. After the market was down 20%, essentially in December of 2018, they said, whoa, 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 we're gonna wait and see because they've already popped two bubbles, right? Here are the top 10, bottom 10 year to date. Uh, Boeing is in the bottom 10 with a 40% decline. Uh, Penn National Gaming, the age of speculation has been squashed. Speculation squashed, it's down 40%. Netflix down 57%. This is just the last 90 days bottom 10. Etsy, Dish Network, Caesars, another gaming uh, speculation area. Uh, Twitter's done fine. It's up 25% after the buyout. And Eli Lilly, medical dividends up 22%, Occidental Petroleum 34. So you could start to see that this, the whole leadership has shifted from this time last year and especially November. I'm Spencer McGowan, your financial weatherman, YouTube McGowan Group. Be sure to subscribe and send the link to your kids so they'll get smarter as well. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in to Net Worth Media today and our efforts over the past two decades to educate clients and help clients make great decisions. That's the reason that we're here at YouTube McGowan Group, Apple Podcasts, Net Worth Radio, and NetWorthRadio.com. The Net Worth Media effort is designed to help you make great decisions and address value at risk of loss, fluctuation in the markets. Remember, if we talk about a security, doesn't make it a recommendation until you come down and get a plan from McGowan Group Asset Management, the team that cares. You can set a Zoom meeting or an in-office meeting at the Crescent and we'll give you a written plan that encompasses what we believe to be the best allocations. This is a team of 10 devoted to you. That includes the research that you see each week from Reuters, from Bloomberg, and from the best sources. We always post links at networthradio.com for what we believe can help you make great decisions, the research that comes up. Now, the net worth media effort is also designed to address cycles in the market, value at risk of loss. 
at networthradio.com. You can get the ADV form that shows, yes, we're a fiduciary, a registered investment advisor. It covers the costs of hiring our team to help you in the future ahead. It really helps to have an expert team on your side that you can reach by phone, email, and of course, a team that's here for you every week to address what's going on in the markets because anxiety can often lead investors to make decisions that are either dangerous, chasing things, or selling things when they shouldn't. And that's a big part of our planning effort at McGowan Group Asset Management. Thank you for tuning in and we look forward to serving you and your family in the years ahead.